magical. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's great. Okay, folks, I believe we're live. Okay, great. So, <sighs> gentlemen, warm. Note that the um, meeting will convene at 7.03, um, and we have Charlie, Tom, Ernie, myself, that constitutes the quorum, and we have one, um, one member of the public with us, Cameron Beard. Welcome. Thank you. And I'll just make and mention that we still have one vacancy on the commission, Cameron. Okay. Should you be interested, in, since you choose to come to every meeting, it's, it's something to consider. You know, it's always good to have. He's working for the land trust. So do you, and I'm a member of the land trust as well. So it's all fair game. Uh, okay, uh, no alternative appointments are necessary. Um, I will say that Joe, John, Charlotte, and Susan uh, were all unable to attend the meeting today, so they are all uh, absent. Um, the agenda, have you all seen the agenda? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, are there any uh, additions or attractions to the agenda? No. Can I get a motion to approve? Motion to approve the agenda. Second. Okay. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Um, I know the, uh, uh, the minutes from last month's meeting were, were very delayed. Uh, had to do with vacations and also illness. Mm -hmm. um, so I only got them, I think, on uh, Friday afternoon they came in. So I got them out to you as soon as I was able, which I think was Saturday. Uh, so uh, why don't we take a look at the Conservation, uh, Conservation Commission minutes from July 5th. I know I have a few corrections to it. I'll just start off uh, on page 1. Under item four, there is a uh, discussion of a short discussion ensued by Rob. I just think we should identify that was Rob Smith. Mm -hmm. I'll add Smith to that. Uh, and on page two, um, a couple of corrections under the second paragraph where it talks about third page. Yep. It says, should read June 3, 2022. Mr. Gillis and Mr. Wilson went out to Lefebvre as two of the neighbors. I just want to put in that they are actually reserve monitors that are signed up as reserve monitors, so I want to include that they're reserve monitors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's uh, Tammy and, and uh, Dave Charbonneau. And I did hear back from John. I guess he probably went over the minutes very quickly. And he indicated this is the third paragraph on the second page where it's, it's the longest paragraph right around the middle. It says, should read May 28th, Mr. Gillis, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Olin, Mr. Cena, and his wife went to the town beach. John replied he didn't recall being there, and frankly, I didn't recall him being there either uh, on the 28th of May. So uh, I would just say that we would move... John's name from, from that. Oh, the town beach. No, he wasn't there. No. no. Okay. Um, opening the floor to other corrections or changes? I have none. Okay. None noted. No. Okay. And then it's approved as amended. Um, do I need a motion for this, Bernie? Yeah. Motion to approve the minutes. So moved. As amended. <laughs> so moved. Thank you, Tom. 
Bernie, thank you. I don't think you need a motion for that. You just accept it. Well, I don't know. We seem to have a lot of motions going on. Accept the, uh, about, you know. <clears throat> That's good. Proper rules of order. <clears throat> <laughs> Old business. Uh, stewardship and forestry management. Bernie. No. Okay. Um, well, first off, I uh, went to Devil's Hop Yard for that uh, special thing that the uh, 8 Mile did on the birds, a uh, place called Hope, put on an, an exhibition. I mentioned that at the last meeting. And uh, uh, Joe Cena was out there with me. Um, that was on the 8th. And on the 10th and the 11th, uh, I went out to Nahannock State Forest with Rob Smith. And uh, we worked on that uh, Goodwin Trail Bridge, which we finished. Uh, the, the, the boardwalk, the bog bridge. <clears throat> and uh, on the 13th, uh, I built a kiosk. And on the 19th, I went to the Gelston property with Joe Cena for three hours, and we mowed the, the blue trail and part of the red trail, cleaned that up. Uh, the 23rd, uh, per Cam Beard's invitation, we went to uh, uh, Tom Worsley's home in Haddam and uh, got a demonstration on uh, forestry management, which was really informative. He's a real smart guy. He teaches at UConn and uh, learned a lot that day. Uh, that was the 23rd. And the 25th, uh, went out to Lefebvre and built a little eight-foot footbridge on the Red Trail that crossed over a little ravine. There was an old bridge there. I took that out and put the uh, three by eights down and built a footbridge there. On the 29th, we installed the kiosk at Robbie Road, Cam Beard and uh, Gary Wilson and I. And uh, so as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to put those maps up. <laughs> mm -hmm. And on the 30th, uh, I went out to the Eight Mile River Wildlife Management Area with some volunteers from Salem, and we cut brush on the Goodwin Trail for an hour and a half. <clears throat> and that's about it. Okay. Um, outreach and promotion. Uh, Bernie, you did send to me the information about the uh, <clears throat> Northeast Airport show on the 27th of August. Right. Um, I have sent in a check to them Good. And, and filled out the application form, and they, they advised me that uh, even if you're a nonprofit, you need to pay the fee <laughs> for, for a table. I haven't heard back from them whether they provide the tables or... Uh, the, the tents. Uh, I assume not, but I know we have a tent, so. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll have to bring all our stuff. But I'd like to just open it up a bit to see. Uh, my thought would be to have a couple of pictures of uh, the town beach property that actually will be going into the quarterly events magazine, hopefully. Um, maybe have a map showing, you know, the East Haddam open space. Uh, and and have a, a collection of trail brochures yeah. for people to collect. Like yeah. we had at the Macamudis event that day. Yeah. Same thing. I'll, yeah. br I'll bring that. that going to be great. Boulder, yeah. Uh, Maryland put together a yeah. big board of all the different trails. Ah, okay. Uh, and we'll add these two to it. Well, that would be good. Um, the only thing that I'm a little concerned about is they said they had 3,500 people at that event last year. They're expecting 5,000 people this year. I don't know if we're going to have enough maps. Uh, so do we take maps for people to, to take? Huh? To take? Yes, we do. We mm -hmm. should. Yeah, but not everybody takes a map. 
Okay. And when we run out, we run out. Yeah, we just direct them to the um, online. I have a, I have a um, Tupperware at home that has probably 50 or 60 of each um, parcel map in it, and uh, I can bring that, but we probably should add to that before the event, so I'll, I'll touch base with uh, Charlotte and we'll get more maps. I was uh, actually going to get hold of Essex and the last time I spoke with Charlotte, she said she still has maps, but they're running down and this is, this in the fall are the heavy seasons. Sure. So she was suggesting that perhaps we should just order, we refill 100 more of each. I don't know, should we order more than 100 of each? Yeah, that gets expensive, just 100, right? Um, 250 is the minimum. I, I don't know the price. Yeah. So when I spoke to them, they said they, they can mix and match because they have all these maps on file. So it's not that difficult for them to, to have maps of Hatch and, and Roaring Brook yeah, and Lena yeah, okay. and, and everything else. No, I didn't know that. I thought it was just... Uh, well, that was what I understood. When they go to print, they want... But I'll, I can, I'll follow up on that to make sure we have uh, extra maps. Sure. In the event we need it. And I don't think they'll ever go bad. No, no. We didn't go through a whole lot last year, but, you know, it, you always could. But when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, it'd be nice to have a something like what Cam has. I don't know. Did you talk about set up to Tom Sanders? No, you didn't, did you? Where we're going to be positioned in the... No, uh, there was a space on the application form that said request where you want to be. I just said, oh, we'd like to be near the Eight Mile River and the uh, Land Trust. Good, sure. good. So okay. where they'll put us... Uh, because if that map is on display next door... Then it's okay. I was going to say, you know, if you were somewhere on the other side, we could pick up another one for you guys, but if you were right next to us anyway... Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. It would make sense to have us all... And, you know, yeah. Yeah, sort of together. Hopefully that, that'll work out. What was the fee for the... Um, it was $50. $50. $50 right. charge. Yeah. Gotcha. So we need a tent. Some table, chairs, probably. A table. Yeah. Table or two, maybe. Sure. You know, what we should do is get a banner. A, a, a banner? We never did that. You know, those vinyl banners. Conservation Commission, for sure. We don't have one, do we? No. No, it would look, it would look a lot better. Yeah. Is that something we could have made up, do you think? Prior to that, it's only a few weeks out. Yeah, light. I called Lighthouse when I earlier in the year, and they gave me an estimate of a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars, and I thought that was expensive. Kind of a lot for. A but it, it's reusable. I mean, yeah. it's not like it's going to go to waste. That's right. And without it, we don't look as good as we could. So it'd be nice to have no, it. Yeah, it's a good identifier. Adam Conservation Commission. Doesn't you have to have be. The, you have a tent, right? I have the tent, yeah. Well, the tent's in, in the shed now. Oh, it's in the shed, okay. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> all the maps, uh, the, what do you call those? Boards. Mm -hmm. yep. With all the maps on them. Um, the displays. Display case, yeah. Would it be worthwhile to take that over there? That, that spinning kiosk no. to put the maps No, on. I don't believe so. No. That thing needs to be recycled. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's in pretty bad shape. Yeah, it's just, yeah. All right. I, I have a table that I can bring, and uh, I have a couple chairs also that I could bring. Um, is anybody going to be there? Anybody interested in being there? Charlie? Uh, I'll, I'll split the day with you. Sure. We're talking August 27th. Huh? Yes. 27th, yeah. 27th, 27th, Saturday. I'll split the day with somebody. I will be in California. Okay. I'll be there because I'm also helping <laughs> Eight Mile River, Salmon River, and the Garden Club. Sure. <laughs> you can wear many hats that day. <laughs> okay. All right, Charlie. Um, I intend to be there probably for the setup. They want everything to be set up an hour before. Sure. It runs yeah. from, I think, 11 to 6, and they don't want anything taken down before 6. I see. So um, if you want to, you know, put in for a slot, I'll be there at 10 o'clock to set up. 
um, and I'll stay there for a bit. Yeah. Um, I'll probably be in and out as well. Yeah. Um, if, do you want a specific maybe time? Two, maybe you can, from you two can to answer. six? Something like that? What time? Maybe from two to six. Two to six? Okay. Something like that. Sure. I hope, I'll help take it down. Okay, that'd be great. Just, you know, I hope it's going to work out a little better than it did last year, like with the parking and, you know, yeah, it, really, well, it really was crazy. They've, they've guaranteed me that they're going to have access to the good speed parking lot this year. Oh. Uh, which they shut off last year. I see. Because they had the tent set up and they were going to yeah. do some, they had a function that night. I see. Uh, and also, they're going to have the shuttle. And there'll be parking across the river. Like it was last year. Yeah. And it's not on the same weekend as the Haddam Neck Fair. Yeah, it was the Haddam Neck Fair. Yeah, that's right. That created a lot of... It really did. Yeah. It really did. And they are looking to get a ferry or a boat to ferry people what back I heard. and forth. Which would, would make really, sense, yeah. kind of yeah, neat. heard that. Well, maybe not a ferry, a boat. Yeah. Somebody's boat. I did hear that, but across. whether it happens or not. Well, yeah, well... Remains to be seen. Well, that would be interesting. See, the problem is that the bus last year, it was just, you know, the, the traffic was just Fight so much. Traffic. Yeah, it really was, yeah. Anyway, so that's great. It's going to be great. That's on the 27th, I believe. 27th. 27th. Is the Historical Society setting up there? Um, we haven't really talked about it too much. I don't believe so. No, okay. I don't believe so. Okay, so that was, uh, any other questions or comments about the uh, it's great. Uh, uh, New England Airport Show? Is that what they're calling it, the New England Airport Show? No, no. it's called the Good Speed Airport Festival. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like an annual thing. That's nice. That's great. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. They also have, they're hiring uh, traffic um, control people. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, that might help out this year, too. Keep the chaos yeah, good the speed airport festival. Yeah, good speed airport festival. All right, well, cool. Bernie's never wrong. I don't know why he had to look that up. <laughs> General admission is free. Okay. I think I saw a flyer, a hot air balloons even. That's interesting. Yeah, let's see. I think they're going to have skydivers. They did last year. Like, mm. They did last year. Five times. Like skydivers on the hour, you know. Really? Wow. It should be interesting. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, that's all I had for uh, Great. for outreach and promotion. Climate resilience. John's not here. John is not here, so we will we will delay that until next month. Um, liaison reports. Tom, IWWC. Uh, I was not able to get there, um, and. This seems to be happening a lot despite my conviction to change it. So um, I am resolved. I'm going to be out again in August. So uh, <clears throat> do we want to appoint a proxy for me? Yeah, I'll watch it on YouTube. OK. Yep. Well, Bernie, are you going to attend the next meeting then? Is that what you're saying? I'll watch it on TV. Oh, okay. YouTube. It's live. When are those meetings, Tom? The third Tuesday of every month. Third Tuesday? Yeah, at 7, 7.30. 7.30? 730. 7.30. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, Bernie, uh, planning and zoning? Uh, nothing really to speak of. Other than uh, we did uh, finish writing the regulations for marijuana oh. retail, and uh, and those have been passed, and so people can submit applications now if they so desire. I think you guys just followed the state guidelines, right, or something like that. Didn't they have like some kind of a guideline about how to? Just a lot to, of it, but we yeah, have, right. our, we have our own. Uh, twist on it. Twist on it too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they should it? be online if you if you look up. And then the, this uh, open space uh, application to the state for 
the 95 acres on North Moodus Road was given to us. I hadn't, I didn't know anything about it until then. And, uh, I don't know if you've got a chance to look at it, but. Uh, well, I read it. I haven't had a chance to actually go to the property and, and, and walk it or, or look at it. But, you know. um, but I have that under new business, so we'll talk about that again. Yeah, okay. They are looking for letters of support from the Conservation Commission. Mm -hmm. um, so open space, Tom. We have a new property. Excuse me. And it's beautiful. And uh, they're trying to replenish their $5 million fund. Um, and going to bring that. I'm not sure who it goes to. Um, is that something anyone else is familiar it with? It is $5 million. Yeah. No, I just heard it through the grapevine, but uh, I know they were going for, they were going to call for a referendum to. Referendum, okay. Yeah. So that's what's next. Yeah, the last five million lasted almost 20 years. Well, we still have 400,000 in it. Yeah. But. Uh, what is that for, Tom? That's the money that they work with to make the magic happen. Um, State bonding so that we have access to the funds when. When needed. When right. needed. Gotcha. Well, so they'll be Access. holding a referendum. Mm -hmm. You will. The town will have to accept that to yeah. to see if people will Support allow the not, town yeah. to bond for five yeah. million for open space. Yeah. Okay. Great. They do an amazing job of stretching it. Yeah, it's gone a long way. I mean, yeah. you look at the statistics and how much land we've bought. And over the years. It's been, what, 20 years? Yeah. Since that vote? Great. Uh, I was surprised to see that they're going back for another five million, but um, I guess they do it in those sums. So that, what you enrolled there, is that a, a large laminated version of this? No, it's different. It's, it's the same idea. OK. Well, it's just that, so that five million all the light green came as a result of that five million. Did you get one of these? Shots? Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, you go. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Wow. Let's see if it out really. <clears throat> Thanks, Gary. Oh, so close. Yeah. 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 Great. Wonderful. East Adam, open space. Anything else, Tom? No. You know when that referendum would be called? No. I do not know. Okay. No, that has so to it's be. not imminent. It's no. sometime in the future. Okay. That has to go through uh, the first selectman, the board of finance. Sure. It has to be approved by the commission, so then it goes to referendum. So it'll be months. Months. months sure. Later. Eight Mile River burning. Oh. Um, How did the move in go? I mean, are they are they in? Oh yeah, the building yeah. now. Yeah. Pat and Riley are spending two, th three days a week there. They have office hours, and uh, Pete Covert's set up in there. Uh, the Nature Conservancy is putting time in there. I don't know if they have regular hours or not. There's a steward. They've hired a steward for the property now, so. Mm. Somebody out there taking care of Burnham Brook. Oh, that's great. Uh, I, I noticed that Maryland supplies the maps for two different towns, two different um, sites. Burnham Brook was one. Mm. And Chapman still, Pond was the other, I believe. still doing that, or do we know? I don't think. When I was out at Burnham Brook for the, uh, for the meeting last week, there were maps in the holder, so I took some out with me. But, uh, well, as far as I as far as I know, I filled them up the last time, but I think we're out of those now. But I guess it raises the question: Does the Conservation Commission pay for those maps? Oh yeah, for the Nature Conservancy. Yeah, yeah, we print those in Chapman Pond. Yeah, those two. I don't know where that arrangement started, but that's. But we'll carry it on. Yeah. yeah. You were going to say something. No, I guess I think you're right. I think the Conservation Commission has undertaken to 
Yeah. Yeah. So who, besides uh, Pat and Riley, who else is up there now? Um, Nature Conservancy up there? Yeah, Dave. Uh, Gumbart. Gumbart, yeah. Yeah, Dave Gumbart. He's a part-time. Nature Conservancy, and uh, I forget the woman's name that they hired. But, uh, and East Adam Land Trust has an office there. Store some equipment there. And they have office space. Does the land trust have hours up there? All right. Uh, anything else on 8 Mile, Bernie? No, nothing that comes to mind. Um, just uh, you know, work on the bridge at uh, Strong's Brook is coming along well, and uh, is that on eighty two? Yeah, it's closed right now. Right, in the middle of August. Yeah, uh, there was discussion of you know invasive species that the uh, curly leaf mm -hmm. um, beach disease. And, Nothing really that pertains to us, I don't think. Do we know, uh, going going back maybe to the uh, 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 stewardship, actually, do we know if Rob Smith has gone down and done that work on the bridge? Of course, the 8 Trail. Mile River, the Petrel. Oh, I left that out of my, uh, my, my announcement. I actually thought you did mention it. Repairing the bridge at Petrel? Did I say that? Yeah. Yeah, no, he hasn't done anything there. Was, uh, I, I was down at Petrel, Woodering. Uh, uh, this could segue into the next topic, which is uh, planting and existing garden updates. Um, I was down there watering some of the plants because with the drought we've had, mm -hmm. yeah, some of the plants we put in last year are mm -hmm. looking a little peaked, and especially the, the tree, which was the trees were the most expensive purchase. Mm -hmm. we wanted, I wanted to make sure they stayed uh, hydrated. How are they doing? Um, Dry, I bet. but I went down there with you know 20 gallons of water. Uh, the pond is so low, uh, wow. and, and you know I don't want to walk to it because I know what's going to happen. My feet are going to go up, my pants are <laughs> going to come down, and I'm going to slide into the pond with all the other critters, and I don't particularly want to do that. But I'm thinking maybe we do need to think about getting a uh, a dirty water pump that we could use in the future to throw the, the one lead into mm. the pond and pump water up. Mm -hmm. uh, I have had master gardeners. Uh, there's two master gardeners, Susan Kinsman and Kathy Bryson, who have been going out. Kathy went out yesterday with her husband and took like 25 gallons of water out, mm. carried it out. Mm. Uh, Susan told me she was doing a pollinator garden, and the neighbor from next door came over with a hose nice. and, and helped her do Great. some watering of the plants. Uh, he's from Holland, so apparently, he, you know, he's he's definitely into the whole That's plant nice. thing, which was was awesome. Nice to see that Great. people want to. Yeah, but twenty five gallons, just like a drop in the bucket, probably isn't it? It's not really. Well, twenty five gallons is a drop in a bucket, and yeah. there's a lot of herbaceous perennials like sure. the sunflowers and uh, uh, the coneflowers that still need to be watered. Um, so, so that pump you would just carry with you to wherever you needed to to use it, then, right? Uh, yeah, I'd probably look for one at Harbor Freight. And, and just get a small one, yeah. and you could just use it to pump into buckets that you would then carry. Sure, that's a good idea. To the uh, um, to the plants that needed it. Uh, my my anticipation was once the plants are in for a year or so, they they've got to adapt and they've got mm -hmm. to be ready to survive. If not, then they're just going to be out of luck. We can't continue to water the plants yeah. every every year. Uh, uh, but I mentioned Susan Kinsman as well, and S Susan was the one who was there and had the neighbor offer to help water. She's also uh, reached out to, uh, I may have the name wrong, Steve Headland, who's on the Town Works. I don't know. He's not there anymore. Well, she said sh she spoke to Steve. I don't know. When was this? A while well, within the last week or so, I guess. Oh, I thought he left. No oh, idea. Okay. And and he said he could provide uh, wood chips. 
um, from the town that the town had, had chipped. So they will bring wood chips and place them where the mulch has been put in the past down by the stones uh, at the end of the uh, mm. parking lot. Yeah. And we could use that for both the Conservation Commission, or for both the uh, uh, pollinator garden and also for other plants that are, you know, uh, suffering under the heat stress. That does help hold the moisture in for a longer period of time. Basically, all the plants are doing pretty well. I don't think we've lost any plants. Oh, that's that great. Planted. But some of them did definitely look stressed. They have and a lot of I stuff. I don't know if you look in your own yard. I know. I have some trees and some, some shrubs that, you know, the bottom leaves are dropping yeah. off. It's been dry. It's been very dry. <clears throat> so uh, one, one point I would like to make, it was very nice to hear there was a woman walking her dog while I was there, and, and she indicated her father-in-law. She took her father-in-law there last year. And I guess he had a scooter that he could use to go around the ADA hmm. trail. Nice. Nice. And he enjoyed the plantings, and her father-in-law has since passed. He was oh. very ill. But it, it's just a nice confirmation that people can use this, even when they have limited mobility, to get around and to, you know, to see nature and maybe go all the way down to the Eight Mile River. And she also mentioned that there was a plank missing out of the Eight Mile River Bridge. That's what I was going to say, and I didn't mention that in my... No, I saw it on Facebook is why I thought I remembered oh, you mentioning yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, there was, there was a hole in, in uh, one of the boards at uh, the trail so bridge. Still need to be repaired? No, I fixed it. Oh, you fixed it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you, Bernie. And, uh, Can't even tell that it's a new board. Would you like... Amazing, huh? <laughs> dress it somehow? <laughs> yeah. Was it just... Like rotted out, or do you think it was vandalism? Or no, it's rotted. Yeah, it's rotted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got kudos for that. There was some, a couple of, two different couples that were walking, and I show up and I pull this board <laughs> out, put a new one down, and it's amazing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, it was nice, too. The woman was very appreciative of, of what we've done there, and she said it makes it so nice. She's a neighbor. She was walking her dog just from her home across, across the road somewhere. So, yeah, I've met her before. Um, she's got a black lab of sorts. No, no. This was a small little terrier or something. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Well, I think a lot of the neighbors actually enjoy the property. Yeah, so no, it's, 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 it's well very used. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So at the same time I fixed the bridge, I weed whacked the beginning of the yeah. trail down. By uh, uh, Boot Rock. 82 parking lot. It was really grown in. Yeah. Okay, good. So clean yeah. that up. So Charlotte, yeah. So Charlotte's not here for the moniker discussion, <clears throat> I guess. Um, one other thing I would mention about uh, <clears throat> the planting. Planting in the existing gardens. Uh, well, two things I would mention. First, I never did get the plants over to um, the Harris Community Garden. The elderberries, mm. um, but we're still 2022 20, plants. We nice. still have; they're still doing well. I'm keeping it in my house, keeping them watered. Uh, and oddly, I had a call last week from Jim Ventress, or actually from Linda. Jim had asked uh, Linda to contact me. Someone moved down from Maine, and they brought down almost 40 hazelnut trees. Wow. Well, hazelnut trees or shrubs, I mean, they're, I, I went uh, off of, uh, what's the road there, school, uh, school Road, I think, I went off, she lives up off of School Road right now, and I went and picked them up last week. Um, she had taken them, she had two in a pot, in big pots, but she wanted those pots, so she, I brought pots for her that mm -hmm. I've used in the past, mm -hmm. uh, empty, of course. She had the soil, and she had the plants. She repotted them all. They were there. I picked them up like a day or two later. So now they're also at my property being watered as, as much as I can. Uh, and I'll hold them until we decide where we want to put them. Um, hazelnut is a very productive. It actually produces uh, nuts that can be eaten by humans if mm -hmm. you can get there before the squirrels do. Mm -hmm. uh, the suggestion is to put them in open areas that are open to sunlight. So, uh, uh, and away from trees, like more, more or less in a field. I was, I was going to say the, the field at Petrel, maybe, at least a couple. 
Um, <clears throat> so we could put them down in the field, or uh, this, the thing that she wanted to do was to offer them to the town to use as a hedge, because you could actually make a hedge with these shrubs. Hmm. But the town declined. They didn't, they didn't want them. So I said, well, we'll definitely take yeah. them. <clears throat> so I've got about 40 of those plants. Are we still try looking for some separation from that rental property right next to Patrell? They actually got some fencing, old fencing, used okay. fencing, I think, okay. and, and, and put it up. Um, so I think for the time being, they're okay. I did try to reach okay. out to the owner, um, and he, he never got back to me. So I don't know if he... We were tied up at the point with uh, the Town Beach property and with the uh, uh, the Moodis Forest property and uh, too many things going on at once. We we're, weren't able to get back to him and look to, have a discussion. To Tom's question, if, if they did, if he did want some kind of vegetation planted there, would that work? Hazelnut. Uh, it would work for part of it. The thing is, it's a deciduous plant, so it loses its leaves in the fall. Mm. Um, I think the bigger concern was when people are over there by the fence, um, you know, the, the, the bikers who would show up and were doing their stretches and so forth. It was kind of annoying to the neighbors. And I think some of the neighbors liked to sunbathe as well, so they were looking for a little privacy. Mm -hmm. So my thought was to have more of a mixed, some evergreen, some deciduous, some flowering. I'm not sure that these plants really flower all that well, but they will produce nuts that uh, there are some birds we'll eat, mm -hmm. and, and we know squirrels and chips. So it's good for good for the wildlife. So that, that, that's I'm taking care of those, and we can discuss where those goes uh, go go in the future. The woman, uh, her name was uh, Jill Vaccaro. So it's about I would say about three dozen hazelnut trees. That's Most awesome. of which are native and a, a small proportion are hybrid between the American and the European hazelnut. But they would all work. They would all work to, to support wildlife. <clears throat> uh, any questions? No. Okay, uh, reserve monitor discussion. Uh, Charlotte's not here, so we will reserve that discussion till next month. Bernie, she has been getting you information when, when the monitors call about issues. I haven't heard much from her in the last month or so. Been quiet. I know she's had some family visiting and, and staying at her place, so she's probably really tied up. Um, all right. Moving on to new business. <clears throat> I have, uh, I have two bills. Um, the first bill is the Goodspeed Airport Festival vendor registration. Uh, I submitted um, a check for $50 to hold our spot down, so I would just ask for a motion to, to compensate me for that payment. If I can get a motion. So moved. Tom, thank you. Second. Charlie, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Um, second bill I have is from Shagbark. And the bill is for $82.09. And that was for a battery a chip brush, a handy pale liner, and a tile bond and tile bond glue. A chip brush. A, a chip that? brush. Yeah. Three twenty nine. Four, four chip brushes. Is that the actual receipt? <clears throat> it's the invoice. Oh no! Yeah, no, no, no. that's not going to help. Me. A white chip brush. What's that? Oh, those uh, throwaways, yeah. Three-inch throwaway brushes, paint brushes. For blazing oh, the trails, oh, oh, oh. probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was the battery for? The brush mower. Okay. The DR, the DR mower. DR, yeah. yeah. You knew that was dead. 
I think you had spoken to me about that. Yeah. We borrowed mine, we put it on it, we took it out to Petrel, <clears throat> and then I ordered one. Okay. Good. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the shag bark bill? So Mo moved. Second. Ready? Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. Good. Well, <clears throat> um, now I have under new business the uh, uh, Conservation Commission review of new properties being considered under open space and the East Haddam Land Trust. Um, I just passed that out to you. I got copies from Jim last week. If I had had it earlier, like by last meeting, would have been good, but uh, if you, do you need time to review this, or, or what are people's thoughts on the uh, open space off of North Moodis Road? 95.8 acres, uh, 21 acres to be reserved for future municipal use yep. next to the school. <clears throat> this is to submit a grant to the state of Connecticut for yep. funds. And this is to submit a grant. The grant is due by September 30th right. this year. <clears throat> we don't know what the actual property, what the town's piece of that's going to be. But right now, this is, we, we're just a, moving it forward. Mm -hmm. in terms of we're just moving it forward, but they've asked for a letter of recommendation from the Conservation Commission. Right. Um, Tom, you've probably been involved and know more about the land. Is there anything you'd like to, did, you do, a, did you do a walk on the property? Yeah, walk through property. It's, it's got a, a lovely variety. Um, Great terrain and and uh, history comes down uh, through a slope and sort of winds down to a <coughs> field mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, connects to the school and some bike trails. So it's it's a really ideal property. <clears throat> yep. This is the map here. Okay. I heard that yeah, it's really quite, it's really yeah, quite yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you're looking at. Yeah, yeah. I see. okay. And, yeah. and it's nice too to keep it. In, you know, the use. You see of this, it. Charlie? Uh, well, I haven't seen that, but I think that if I understand where the property is and everything, I think it's a very nice mm. piece of property to preserve. So it's this red section here. Yeah. And it does abut to the, the middle school. school. Yeah, and these are their hiking trails. Now, where is Grandview? Oh, Grandview's right. here, right? Yeah. So that's that whole, like, beautiful view they mm -hmm. have, right? Yeah. The side oh, of, it's wonderful. Side that, of yeah. that hill, yeah. Yeah, yeah please. Let's, this let's is, vote uh, yes. Don's Fields here. Yeah. yeah. And this is the, the uh, park. And it makes sense what they're saying about the addition, um, the 21 acres for municipal private. It's great. Okay, yes. Your Hidden Valley runs right out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, talk about continuity between properties. Yes. That's the other yes. nice thing that this Beautiful. owner provides. Is this continuity. You? <clears throat> East Adam Land Trust? Vote oh, yes. This is Hidden Valley. It's down here. Oh, oh, and that's, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, Clark Gates? Yeah. Yeah, so this isn't us. I don't know what that is. It's probably town open space. Mm -hmm. That's, and this is uh, just a conservation keep, easement on Gary Bogan's property. That's conservation easement. Okay. You won't. Is that open to the public? Oh yeah, yeah. You you won't some of that. He's the only person we have a conservation easement with who allows public asset, access. Access. On it. Yeah. We own an acre and a half right there with a kiosk. Here oh, on, that's on it. Crystal. Okay. And then all the rest of the it rest is, is an uh, easement. Yeah, okay. An easement that Gary's allowed us to put right. trails. Right, 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 right. And so I believe they intend to keep like 25 acres or so, like as an open field. It's been used as a farm a farming yeah. area for yes. over a hundred years for agricultural purposes. That right. Was, that yeah. was yeah. This, and this that's is, what this sells it for me. I think that's the right thing to do. ended right mm. at the at the fields, and yeah. and it, there's a really sort of 
because it's still working. There's a, a That's right. wonderful sort of historic feel to it as you come down through the trees, down the slope, and you finally into the field. So there is a piece of uh, municipal property involved, too. Yeah, potential municipal property in, in, in the future. But this, from, from what I can see on the map, this looks like it's all wooded. Mm -hmm. Right. And I guess the municipal property is as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's because it's close to the school, from what I heard, that that's yeah. why it's being mm -hmm. set aside as the possible. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. But as I, as I look at this, there's an awful lot of wetlands down here. Mm. Yeah. So that's... Uh, I can I can put something together, drive something together. Does anybody have any thoughts about how they would? Uh, I would totally endorse. Describe the property or say that does the conservation commission support this? Definitely, I think that's a good Sorry? thing. Yes, I strongly support it. I'll make a motion to send a letter of recommendation for support to the. Second that. Motion. To who? Okay, who do we send? First selection. Uh, this would probably go to the uh, land use office. The gym, yeah. yeah, the gym. Yeah. He kept talking on the walk about uh, this is ridge, this is ledge, as if those were bad things, which I didn't understand because I thought it made because you can't build on beautiful, it. Beautiful, beautiful uh, contours, um, and uh, well, the ledge makes it unbuildable. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. Well, because okay. There, there's been quite a bit of discussion in the paper over, over the past few months that people have been asking questions about the valuation of some of these properties. Huh. Because there was that letter, I forgot who wrote it, and uh, her stipulation was that we're buying these properties and a lot of it is unbuildable anyway. So maybe that's why Jim was commenting about that hmm. because, you know, you know, there are some folks that believe that we're overpaying. Hmm. So. Okay. But one of the things that's kind of cool about it is as you're coming down this slope, uh, you know, the grand view works both ways. Yeah, it must look gorgeous. Yeah, you got a really lovely view across. Really is spectacular. <clears throat> so if I made that motion, somebody seconded it? Seconded it. Charlie seconded yeah. it. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Good. Um, Good. I will, I'll put something together. Um, I may I may actually like to walk the property to, to take a look at it. Um, Tom, you probably know better than anyone else at this point where it is. You think we could get together some point? Mm -hmm. uh, when are you going to? The 17th. So, 17th? Yeah, so sometime in the next okay. two weeks. When does the letter have to be? Uh, there must be a date on it somewhere, right? Uh, we need to get a letter. Uh, well... They actually want to get the um, submission in by, oh. I think, th September 30th. September 30. The grant application has to be in, so. Well, time is of the essence, then. Sue Kinsman also walked it. Uh, if you wanted to, because it sounds like you're in touch with her anyway, and just see if she had a thought or two <clears throat> about it. Sometimes it's nice if you're writing something to actually have yeah. in there and yeah. see it. You know, I mean, I'm all for saving as much property as we can. And if you look at the price, we're talking about $5,000 an acre. Where, where are you going to find $5,000 an acre anywhere? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you nice. basing that on the $479,000? Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's the total, total cost, the contract cost. Yep. And on 95 plus or minus acres on North Moodus Road. So rounding it off to 100, it's about 5,000 an acre. Yeah, well, that's before we even get money from the state. Uh, absolutely. That's not yeah. what it's going to cost us. Right. <clears throat> uh, and I just saw something in the Hartford Current that the state just approved another $10 million statewide <laughs> for open space oh, uh, purchases. So, you know, the, the timing is good. We should. We should Try to grab what properties we can. Sure. Uh, okay. Tom, what's the nature of the ownership of the property? Is it in a trust or family or children or? I did not understand that. No. Okay. Um, he's been talking to Don, working Don for a period of time, uh, but. It doesn't seem that 
Don really owns it. The, 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 I didn't under, I couldn't follow what he, Don what he was Grandview? saying. Don from Grandview? Grandview. No, whoever's doing, the, whoever is um, working the fields down below. <clears throat> That's Don. Yeah, he just Grandview. kept using the name Don. So I didn't quite follow everything that he was saying. What's so. his last name? I, I, I forget. Any more discussion on this property? No, I... I think that the, well, I just think it's a great thing. Look forward to seeing your letter, and it's going to be great. Okay. I will, I'll draft something and send it around for comment. Awesome. Um, Cam, uh, also aware that you are looking at the property on Honey Hill. Okay. Second. For the land trust. document has okay. the map that probably sets Is this uh, what you're about to give me? It's not no, no, it's oh, okay. different. So okay. this is some address. This on the second page you see oh, wow. a map and um, a couple of pictures from the place. Okay. We too are hmm. putting in an Oswe application by September thirtieth, so we want the same kind of letter of recommendation or, or support if possible. I next to the back of this the letter of support that was sent for us last year by the Conservation Commission with respect to the Saunders property, just to so see the format. And then on the last page, it took the liberty of giving you some language if you want to decrypt it or, or work on it, or however, to try and lighten your load to make it. Yeah, OK. You, you can take it or leave it. But, uh, no, that's good. Uh, OK. Build up. Um, wow. This is cute. So that, that grant. Uh, is, um, ends at uh, September 30th? Yeah, we've been pushing like crazy to get the contract to see if we could. We signed it yesterday. It'll be pretty much a full-time job to collect all of the exhibits. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the completed Oswe application, but the last thing we're doing that 65 or so exhibits. Uh. And, uh, 60 pages single-spaced of application with all of those exhibits. And it's mind-blowingly <coughs> complex. But one of the things, what I like to think is easier is so I hope we're not competing with each other <laughs> in this oh, round of grants. No, no. I mean, there's no. so much money out there. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been Seems like uh, this yeah. is the time to strike on the iron side. Yeah, there you go. Um, but as you can see, the property is contiguous to the property that you've got. So mm. you're getting like 200 acres mm. of trails. And um, although there's no And you're calling this Honey Hill Farm. That's the name no, of the property. No, we've given naming rights to the owners, and they haven't told us what. We're calling it Honey Hill Farm, the working name, but we'll mm -hmm. be we called at the end of the day, I don't think. Sure. Maybe the Mazzella Preserve, the Mangano Preserve, combination of that. That's the, the, the family names. You see a potential connection to Roaring Bit? <clears throat> um, I do, and I can show you more on a GIS map what we're looking into. But I yeah, well, let's let's get it first, and, yeah. <laughs> and then we can work on that. <clears throat> I mean, it seems like we supported the Saunders property, so it seems like you know logical that we would support this as well. <clears throat> well, it's already been supported. Well, Saunders has. Saunders, not not this parcel. That's this parcel it. Yeah, but I'll like I see. Yes. Letter. Oh, I see. Okay. And then the last page is just some language. Thanks, Kay. <laughs> Suggestion. <laughs> Great. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I think I, I think it makes sense. I, I support it. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we uh, send her a letter of recommendation sure. to the East Adam Land Trust for the purchase of their uh, and I'll second that motion. Hill Farm property. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
That's great. Any opposed? Wonderful. No. Okay. Cam, anything else? Actually, I do have one thing. We uh, just purchased, we haven't gotten it yet, the $1,500 um, weed whacker. It is top of the line, still FS560. Walk it, behind? No, no, it's a, it's a um, bicycle amount of thing, you know, right over your shoulder, but it's got a really powerful motor, so we'll be able to clear, clear trails and you know, small trees up there. Like and like a metal blade? Hmm? With a metal blade? Yeah, with, Blades and you can mount different blades and you can mount really heavy um, line on it. And it. Anyway, that'll make our life at the land trust a lot easier. <laughs> but this is a lead in to a project that bounced off burning, and uh, which once we're done with our Agua application, I will hopefully, in conjunction with Bernie, bounce off all of you <coughs> to present something to the Nature Conservancy about the possibility of us working together on new trails at Burning Brook. Mm. Because it's totally <coughs> underutilized. Mm -hmm. It doesn't connect to your LaFave property yet, but rather than just one trail to connect to LaFave, I think three trails could really make mm -hmm. good use of that. Mm -hmm. One access trail will have done on each side and have a really fantastic loop in the middle that goes along a promontory. And mm -hmm. I was just thinking of that promontory. Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. So. Anyway, but that's right. a few words out, and, and Bernie and I need to talk more about mm -hmm. whether that's feasible, and I have a funny feeling that <laughs> the work, but that's why I led with the new FS560. <laughs> so what's the model? And what? FS560. What is it, a steel? A steel, yeah. FX. FS. S. S is in Sam. FS. SX. F. F. Frank's. Frank. Frank, okay. Frank Sinatra, F60. 60. Apparently, it's so infrequently bought that they didn't have it at the store warehouse, so I think that's why we're still waiting for it to be. Hmm. Gasoline powered. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, okay, I do have a public comment from. David Carbo. Oh. I, I don't think I've met David. Property steward. Yeah, he, he's worked with us a few times. Okay. He said he was planning to attend. I'll just read it. I was planning to attend tonight, August 2nd, but something has come up and have a report on the subject item. Uh, this is uh, subject item is Dean Easement. There's a new road. Back in the middle of July, it was discovered that the farmer has cut a new road through the backside of the farm exiting on the main trail about one-third mile in from the first public access point on Parker Road. This past Saturday, I went down this new road, which exits to another road parallel to the backside of the farm. While the presence of a road is not a problem, if a logging operation is planned, what amount of forest can be removed under the present agreement? This also raises questions on existing and future land trusts concerning this topic and whether there is readily available public access to the documents. So this is the first I saw this. I actually came in on 6, 614. <clears throat> so uh, uh, I, I don't know why, how the easement for, um, for the Dean property reads, so I would need to look into that. But Well, it is, a, it is an easement, farm easement, and it's, uh, logging is one of the permitted uses. Um, he would have a forester come in and and do an analysis of the property and uh, determine what trees were going to stay and which ones were going to be taken and and they have protocol that they have to follow in terms of moving forward with logging a property. Okay. Uh, who would we check with to see what the easement says and to make sure it's adhered to? Would land that be use uh, probably uh, land use office? Yeah, Jim Ventures, yeah. yeah. He could pull the document for you. And well, Jim, I think, is on vacation he for is. a period of time, so.
Okay. Very good. Uh, announcements and other discussion. Just to mention, the Board of Selectmen has approved Charlotte's change from full member to alternate member. And Charlie, you to full. Great. Uh, Tom and John have both been reappointed. Okay. The letters will be forthcoming. You haven't seen them yet, but they should be in the okay, works. Great. Fabulous. But Linda wanted to let me know that uh, awesome. that was uh, there. Um, and I should ask, uh, is there any other public discussion? Okay. Anything anyone else wants to discuss? And I have a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourned. The meeting is adjourned. What was our time? 8.04. Okay. Oh, it's good. Excellent meeting. Thank you. Very much for that. Yeah. yeah. Best 560. I feel like Tim the Tillman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>